Are you fond of poetry at all? I hope not. <laughs> Home for the halls in freezing snowy weather. Lovely boots and woolly days, tobogganing, etc. No more logs and Latin, nor beastly algebra. <coughs> Thought of Bertie being driven home in a chauffeur-driven car. <coughs> Hello, Mama. What ho, Papa? And dear, dear Sister Madge. <coughs> oh, what a simply ripping Christmas we are going to have. <coughs> but, oh, oh dear, oh law, the beast. Pansy. Bertie's cousin Algie's come to share the Christmas feast. <laughs> That algae is a dreadful sort, ill-mannered, rude and bad. Right on. But Bertie must be nice to him by order of his dad. <coughs> Worse luck. <coughs> rude algae has gone out to play and, well, that fearful cad has had the cheek to borrow Bertie's balaclava hat. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Quiet. Poor Bertie's made to promise. Here, here. He'll be nice to his new chum. He is not so bad, says Bert's papa. You make his Christmas fun. Thank you. <laughs> uh, speaking of art, and I do all the time, back to poetry. Rhymes for no reason at all. Thoughts by I.P. Daly. Go on, Ian. I think I'll make a hedgehog hutch with two little prickly beds. Oh. With two little prickly pillows for two little prickly heads. Ha! The blankets shall be of wire wool. The hot water bottles conkers. Uh, uh, <laughs> but I shall hide my hedgehog hutch in case you think I'm bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> and the same to you. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely thoughts. And now another animal poem. <laughs> this one self-penned and read by Mrs. Marjorie Babbage. Marjorie? <laughs> hippo, dear hippo, if I could choose my favourite animal, it would be you. Hippo, oh hippo, I've watched you for days completely absorbed in your wonderful ways. Oh. <laughs> and thankfully, the last poetry reading. I'd like to do a noise poem for you. This one is called Where. <coughs> Where? Don't ask me. Where? First left down the corridor, wash the rain. <laughs> where? Where the deep, soft ferrets forage, where the bellies glisten, in the 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 bubble, 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 bath. Ah, the hmm, see. Kill that duck. Hmm. Rubbish. Set upon by unseen serpents, hissing hatred at my heels. Wiggle, wiggle. Three worms called Squiggly and Wiggly. Slapper, slap, and... Thank you. Rubbish. Thank you, Tarquin Blythe. That was unusual, wasn't it? Contemporary Rubbish. and bizarre. And from the unusual to something more at home. Something that we can all come to terms with. Tom, you, yes, is coming up here. Some of you all know. Ah, there was an old man. There was an old man from Azores whose body was covered with sores. One night after a couple of stops at this. Oh, you bloody. Don't do that in front of my wife. Ah, didn't realise it was her turn, eh? <coughs> I'd like to do... I'd like to do... Uh, I'd like to do one of my own. This one's called Sniff Sniff, and uh, it's about mm. uncertainty. Sniff Sniff. There's a lot of if about. 
Sniff, sniff. Maybe somehow, sniff, sniff, I'll sniff it out. Sometimes there's uncertainty. And if there is... No, so I've got blockage. <laughs> well, that was certainly uh, avant-garde, Bruce. Yes, Michael, let's hope the weather holds off for the afternoon. 